Hey guys, welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. Guys, today we are here to share all of our fun, love, and passion for Disney. And food. You. Oh yeah, and food with <laughs> you guys. So uh, today we are doing something pretty special. So you guys know that we're wanting to try at least something new once a month for the next 12 months, or actually I guess the next 11 months yeah. <laughs> um, throughout 2020 with you guys as far as, you know, it's our, it's our do something for the first time challenge. And we're challenging ourselves to do that. Well, this is one of them and we're doing cooking Disney. So yes. today we are doing, well, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, however you guys want to do it. And we are doing bacon and Mickey waffles. Gluten-free Mickey waffles. Absolutely. I was blessed with two waffle makers this year for Christmas. So we're going to try out the one that actually flips and makes about six waffles at the same time. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, it. And it was a, a, the waffle, the Mickey waffle maker from uh, the Disney store. So check it out. You, I think you can also get it on Shop Disney as well. Or Box Lunch. Or Box Lunch. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So a few different ways for you guys to go and get it. But we'll show you how it works. And we'll show you what it produces and see what you think. Right. So right now... We are going to make homemade waffles because that's the lowest sodium because yep. a lot of gluten-free stuff, man, they pack it just full of salt, I guess, to make it taste better. But we didn't want to go that route, so we're making our own recipe right here. Very easy to do. Um, we do already have our bacon pan heating up. Absolutely. Okay. That is so the first and foremost. It is the first and foremost. Yep. So we're going to try to keep our timing right, so bear with us. This is the first <laughs> time we've done this. So here we have one and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose gluten-free flour. Here, we've got one tablespoon of baking powder. Just oh, throw it in there. Just throw it in there, okay. Got a half a teaspoon of salt. Gonna throw that in there too. Done. So I'm gonna take my, my, my spoon right here. I'm just gonna mix it all up together. Do you have to do that? No, but it definitely makes the end product better. Yeah. So I always do. So there we go, real I quick. I trust that because it always tastes good. <laughs> yeah, I think I've been making the same waffle recipe for, what, 16, 17 years now? Yep. I kind of have it perfected. Sweet. All right, so there's that spoon. This is our dry ingredients. That's really literally all you need. Yep. Pretty hey, cool, guys, huh? you don't have to do this gluten-free. It's the same it's exact, exact same. ingredients if you want to do, or the same exact measurements if you want to do non-gluten-free. So if you want to just use all-purpose flour, you can do that. Totally but do that. we have gluten-free all-purpose flour. I want to be able to eat the waffles. Yep. So I need to eat the waffles. All right. Sorry, baby. So we have my spoon, and now we have a half a cup of cooking oil. Um, the recipe actually calls for vegetable oil. Yes. We do olive oil. Yes. So it doesn't really matter. It's the same amount. I just kind of pour it in, start mixing it in together. Mm, just kind of gentle. I don't want to over mix. Absolutely. You want to stir while I mix? Yeah. All right. All right. Teamwork. What's gonna work? Teamwork. Oh my gosh, it's Wonder Pets. That's a Wonder Pets <laughs> moment. For all of you who had children who watch Wonder Pets. <laughs> not too much. Now it's time for celery. No. No, not in my waffles. <laughs> now we have one and three quarters of a cup of milk. I'm gonna gent you're gonna gently just pull it away from the edges of the bowl. Okay. Just kinda keep it moving. I'm gonna stop so you can pull it away from that edge of the bowl. And you don't want to overbeat your waffle mix because that is definitely a thing. The very last step is we're going to beat our egg whites right here, okay? And so you don't want to have everything over mixed, but you do want to have everything mixed well. So you're looking to maybe get those bubbles out of there, get those clumps out of there. The, also, the last ingredient we have, I've already got the egg whites in this bowl, but we have egg yolks. I'm just gonna mix them up together. I'm gonna pour those in too. Nice. Yep. And just everything gentle, just super, super gentle. All right. And when we do the egg whites, we're gonna very gently fold those into everything. And when do we do those, Liz? Very last thing. So we're gonna go check our bacon pan. We're gonna, this, this wet mix can just sit here. Don't do the egg whites until you're ready to put them in the waffle maker. That's kind of the secret right there. Otherwise, your waffle mix just kind of falls flat. It does. Yeah, and that egg whites, you literally want that flat. to literally I mean, flat. just kind of So dense. like a cake that you <laughs> ran around yeah. the kitchen while I was making, you just, um, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a little bit more of those clumps out. This might be better with the fork. Still not over beating. We've got a fork right there. We do, but I 
pretty much got it to where I'm feeling okay. Hey, you have good. a few little clumps in there, that's okay. Just like a pancake batter, a few clumps are fine. Awesome. Well, All right, now it's time to go check our pan for bacon. Here we go. Because bacon makes the world better. The bacon is done. Success there. Now it's time. Oh no, it's scary. <laughs> now it's time for the final mixology on these waffles. I do enjoy warm syrup. Mm -hmm. So I put a little bit of the syrup in the ramekin. I'm going to microwave it 18, 22 seconds on like power level 7, power level 6. Not on high heat because I don't want it popping and exploding. So that would give me be one sec. Yeah, explosions are bad. All right. Give me one sec. Let me put this in the microwave. I'll be right back, guys. Nice. Uh, meanwhile, I've got this all plugged up, ready to rock. So that way we can go ahead and mix in um with the with the with the batter the egg whites so that way we can get everything going there and again our waffle maker is on it is ready to rock we've got our wet ingredients we're going to beat our our egg whites here yes so mm. two minutes later all right here we go that's about roughly two minutes later you are looking for what they call stiff peaks on the egg whites so just like that right there when you pull your, put your beater in and you pull it out, it stays that form. These are ready to rock. Bringing it back to Disney, it looks like the Sorcerer Mickey hat. So there you it go. It does like Sorcerer Mickey hat. Okay, to the sink, please. Oh, I wish I could lick these, but no. Ugh, I don't <laughs> think so. Okay, so we're going to fold the egg whites into the batter. We are not crazy going after the batter. We do want to get the egg whites all the way down to the bottom of the batter but you're just lovingly getting them in there. That's exactly what you're doing. Okay. So you, please to the sink. Sink. And I'm just gently, all right, I don't want my egg whites to bust. Those are the egg whites or what is gonna help my, my waffles rise and be really super good. So, still just super gentle. That's why we call it folding. Literally, I'm folding the batter over. And if you guys like making waffles, if you've ever made waffles before, comment below. On like your best waffle recipe. Yeah. And have you ever made Mickey waffles? I know. Mickey That's Mickey what waffles. we really want to know. Have you guys ever made Mickey waffles? And let me ask you this. Do you plan to maybe try some Mickey waffles after seeing this? Oh, good question. So we're right. actually, guys, just so you know, we're actually filming this at dinner time. Same. We're doing bacon and waffles for, for dinner. dinner. But you can do this anytime that you want. I'm going to pull this guy out. Ta -da. I'm going to do this up. I'm actually, while he's up, I'm going to move him a little bit more into the middle of the island. And then each one Look of these the little, Mickeys. little heads should be about a quarter of a cup. I'm going to put him into the head. Kind of gently make him over onto the ears because I don't want him sp to spill out of the little head. Oh, these are going to be really fluffy. I can already tell. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are going to be great, honey. It's all about beating to that stiff, those stiff peaks yeah. for your egg white and having fresh eggs. If your eggs are a little old, toss them. They're not going to make good waffles. Oh, good point. Mm -hmm. That down. All right, Rotate. Lock it. You love that. Lock no, it, right? I'm not going to lock it. I'm not going to no. slap it, lock it, polka dot it. I need to do the other side. Oh, wait. So we get six at once. Yeah, you get six at one ah. time. That's why we're trying this waffle maker out because it's six at one time. And that is like, wow. And it beeped at us to tell it it, it was ready. Mm -hmm. And we're going to close it up and it's going to beep at us again to let us know that the waffles are cooked. Boom. We I'm did use this at ears. Christmas, this waffle maker, and it was so much fun to have, you know, Christmas morning Mickey Here we waffles. Go. Boom. Now we're gonna lock it. Now it's locked. Now it's locked. But now when it comes up, it's gonna be the other side that's ready first, right? Correct. So we're okay. gonna flip it. I mean, I guess we could flip it now. Okay. Sure. Boom. Why not? It's and all then, closed together. So. Right. It's all closed together, and then the um, the lights on it. We're supposed to go off when it's cooking, and then it's going to beep at us when it's ready to go. Nice. Yeah. So we'll be right back. Exactly. When they're ready. All right, guys. The light just or the the sound just went it off. Just it beeped at us. So there we go. Let's see what we're looking like here. Yeah, because we. So we open it up. 
Pull it up. Oh, oh. Those little faces are so cute. Beautiful okay. looking Look waffles do. right here. Tongs to pull them out. Yeah. Oh, these are so much fun. Look cute. Yeah. Squishing his little face. All right, not enough batter in these. Yeah, so. Note to self. Oops. Note to self, but we have plenty of batter left that we can use to cook. We have plenty of batter left. All down. right, so we got to pop it. Pop it down. There we go. Pop it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So a little bit more batter on this side. These look great. Yeah. Just so you guys know, these are about half the the thickness of the park waffles. So if you're wondering, you know how, how they thick they are or how they compare, um, they are half the thickness of the park waffles. So mm -hmm. just know that. Um, going into it, if you can imagine two of these stacked together is the same thickness of the park waffles. Mickey waffles. Okay. Trying to make sure we get a little bit more batter this time. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Little matter. I love it when my breakfast smiles at me. Or my dinner. It's true. <laughs> Very true. Okay. All right. That one is set. Booyah. Booyah. I love it. I just love how fast and efficient this is. I know, man. It's really easy to use. I highly recommend the Mickey Mouse shaped waffle maker yeah. from... Shop Disney, the Disney Store, or even Box Lunch. It's the same waffle maker, so highly recommend it. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you can probably get this, if I'm only assuming, but I'm pretty sure you can get this at the uh, the World of Disney Store at Disney Springs um, as well. So. I would assume so. Okay. Put it down. Do it. And then... Flip it over to the other side. You guys... Kind of a close up of the little Mickey head waffles. So I'm going to turn it that? up. It has like light and dark settings on here. Turn yes. it up a little bit more, be a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. Let's see what so, we see. Exactly, we'll see what we see. Yeah. If you want that 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 bold face Mickey, yeah. go darker. But the thing is, is that I would also say that if you want to, I really like this setting on it though. The the little bit lighter, um, just because I mean they are just absolutely delicious i mean a little bit crunchy full of flavor a little bit soft on the inside which i like oh but <laughs> it's whatever you guys like um so we're, we've turned it up though we're going to make it a little, a little bit darker so which you see how they turn out yeah, yeah see what you guys uh, think of the look of it but also see what we think of the taste of it so, i know right here we go. it's really super nice with the six all at the same time yeah that's really super cool and you may notice the unit actually is smoking, yes. which the instructions do tell us that a brand new waffle maker is going to smoke a scotchy bit. Yeah. So the first several times that you use it, it's probably going to smoke a little bit, so yeah. no worries there. Just cooking off whatever, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Whatever our machining residue is still there. We yeah. don't know. But it's leaving, it's not smoking off the Disney magic. That stays inside. Yeah, that inside. stays there. All right, guys, it just beat at us again, so let's see what the new waffles look like. A little bit darker this time. Okay, um, so still not, not too much, much darker, darker, actually. They pretty much look the same to me. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Whatever. This recipe. But this definitely a fuller point. Mickey, I think. You know, I put and, a little uh, bit more in there, so I did yeah. a good, better job on that, I think. Yeah, and, and they do shrink a little bit, guys, so um, I think the lesson is, is don't be afraid to put... Plenty of batter in there. Yeah, and that's a good lesson to learn. Yeah. I love how it flips. Oh, perfect timing. Yeah. That's what it sounds like when it's ready, guys. All right, guys. So everything came out absolutely wonderful. We got, what, 20? 20 waffles. 20 waffles out of it. And so we got some super crispy, some kind of medium, and, and then light. also very light. Um, so we actually went ahead and on the plates here, we have light. Light. Medium. Medium. Dark. And, so when and, it says light to dark, it says light, medium, dark. Yeah. And we got the syrup right here. So we're going to try in, or we're going to dig in and try and see what we think. Tell you guys what we what our thoughts are. So here we go. And here's the super crispy. We got the super light first. Got the medium. Mmm, syrup. 
<laughs> Warm syrup. Mm. So much butter. Light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not as good. I'm gonna try medium now. I am Oops. loving the super crispy. Yeah, I gotta tell you. The light is good. Yeah, the medium is even crispier. So that's good too. Mari, what are you trying now? I just tried the super crispy. So you went from medium to super crispy. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing medium now. Mm -hmm. I thought the light was it's very, good. it was very good. But the medium is fluffier in your mouth. The medium is my favorite. Oh my gosh. The medium is fluffier. Mm. And I'm going to try the super crispy. And I did it light, medium, crispy. Because... I'm weird that way, people. Mm. My favorite is the crispy. Okay, the super crispy? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the medium and the super crispy. My favorite's the medium. It's so good. Yeah, but the light is just, there's not... The crispy was really good, though. Yeah, the crispy's really good. The mm. medium is really good, too. I wish the light... It's just not as airy as the other two. It's mm -hmm. not. It's evenly cooked, though. So I it will is. say that. So it's light all the way through. And it's cooked all the way what through. What I loved about the medium is that it's it's got a nice crunch to it. Yeah. But it's super gooey on the inside. Yeah. I really like that. The nice crispy too. is crispy all the way through. So if you want light all the yeah. way through or crispy all the way through, there you go. But the medium is like the best of both worlds. So it is the best of both worlds. I highly recommend that. But everybody's got a different taste. But guys, yeah. it is dinner time, and we are so going to go eat time. some bacon and waffles, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was our first ever Cooking Disney Yay. with you guys, and it will not be the last. Uh, we, we really enjoyed this, and Liz and I think that we're going to be doing more of this um, and uh, cooking more Disney items with you guys. So, but it, if, uh, Until next time, guys, if you will, give the video a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this and, and adventures. I really want to know. Um, if these guys have ever made Mickey Waffles. Oh, yeah. And, and whether or not they like the light, medium, or the dark setting. Yeah, let us yeah. know, guys. Kind of interested. But until next time, get out there, have some fun, and, and we'll, we'll see you on, on the flip, flip side. side.